Hi, my name is Jonas. Today part one of a series where we will be traveling back in time and make some music. In the first episode I'll be creating a trance track like we're back in the 90s. I like to build this kind of track starting from the main hook. For that I'll use my old battered Yamaha CS1X. This is a synth released in 97 and has been used in quite a lot of trance of the late 90s. I'll be using this brassy saw lead sound. To inject some energy I created this tabby sound on the Roland SH-101, at least the Roland Cloud version. The SH-101 is a synth you would find in many 90s studios and is ideal for basses and leads. In this track I use it to play this pattern. And to give this pattern some more texture, I layer it with this preset from the JV1080. This is a sound module that used to be found in the rack of many studios at the time. If you play them together, it will sound like this. Now on to the low end. First the TR909. In the 90s these already were getting quite rare and expensive so most producers would probably use samples. But thanks to Roland Cloud I can emulate the real thing. Let's go for a nice punchy 909 kick. For the bass I'll be using the Dext. This is a great VSTi that emulates the classic Yamaha FM synths. I don't know about many trans producers using a DX7, but the DX100 or TX81Z can still be found in the studios of the old schoolers. These simply are perfect for deep, fat basses. I created this sound. Paired with the 909 kick, it instantly gives this typical old school trance drive. Dropping in the elements we already had, you can hear we already have a good foundation going on. To add some extra drive, I'll use another SH-101 for a simple arpeggio bassline. This boat fills in the mid-low nicely and gives some more energy to the track. Now let's do the rest of the drum sounds. A very typical sound of this period would be a 909 clap with a big fat delayed gated reverb on it, like this. Now let's add a quick hi-hat pattern. And a right cymbal to add some extra interest and textures in the high frequencies. I always pan these sounds quite hard to keep the mix more transparent. A big fat crash cymbal with a lot of reverb will be used to accentuate the transitions in the track. 
And let's of course not forget the snare rolls. These are very cliche, but back in the 90s it was still very acceptable to go all the way with these snares. And a final touch is a conga loop that I chopped up a bit. This introduces an organic element to this track that for the most part is quite straight on and synthetic. And this is old school trance, so let's introduce a classic Cork M1 choir path. Following the chord progression, but using a couple of inverted chords to keep it a little bit more interesting. Now we have all the elements we need, let's build this track. I start with only the kick, bass and a bit of percussion. And from that point, keep on adding rhythmic and melodic elements. Then at a certain point, we introduce a mini break that ends with a big snare roll and drops into the main melody. Once again, we are reintroducing all the elements until we have everything going on at once. And then, as a final sherry on the cake, we drop into the final mini break and bring in the super saw. Typically, in the 90s, this would have been a JP8000 or JP8080, but as I don't have one of those around, I'll use the Super 8. Opening up the filter and dropping back into the climax. And that's it. Trans like we're back in the 90s. Let's listen to the full track.
Do you have any suggestions for this series? Let me know in the comments below. One more? Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. See you next time.